Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Meta, has made waves in the martial arts world with his recent success in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Competing in a BJJ tournament in Woodside, California, Zuckerberg competed in the White Belt Master II lightweight division and surprised many by walking away with both a gold and silver medal. While Zuckerberg's career in the tech industry has made him a household name, his passion for martial arts has been a long-standing interest. His dedication to the sport is evidenced by his affiliation with Dave Camarillo's Guerrilla Jiu-Jitsu team, which has trained some of the world's top MMA fighters, including former UFC champions John Jones and Ronda Rousey. Under Camarillo's guidance, Zuckerberg has been training in BJJ for several years and has made impressive strides in the sport. His performance in the recent tournament is a testament to both his dedication and natural ability in the sport. In a Facebook post, Zuckerberg thanked his trainers Dave Camarillo, Kai Wu, and James Terry for their support in his success. Competed in my first jiu-jitsu tournament and won some medals for the Guerrilla Jiu-Jitsu team, Zuckerberg posted on Facebook. The post garnered more than 40,000 comments including from UFC fighter Conor McGregor and jiu-jitsu world champion Bernardo Faria. Zuckerberg's trainer also came out saying that he was inspired by the social media tycoon's ability to continue to learn new skills and accept challenges for himself. Getting to see Zuck compete was pretty epic, said Zuckerberg's trainer Kai Wu. No match was easy and everything was earned. It was an honor to be able to help coach and offer any advice I could. The BJJ tour later on confirmed that Zuckerberg won the gold medal in the No G Master 1 White Belt Featherweight Division and the silver medal in the G Master 2 White Belt Featherweight Division. However, this is not the first time Zuckerberg has shared his love for martial arts. A few months ago, a video surfaced on social media showing him training with MMA fighter Kai Wu, which quickly went viral and earned praise from UFC fighter Conor McGregor. During an episode of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast in August 2022, Mark Zuckerberg revealed that he discovered Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu as a way to enhance his energy and focus at work. He referred to the sport as primal and revealed that he started training on it during the pandemic. Zuckerberg also shared that he used to run and surf but was drawn to MMA during the pandemic. Through friends who surfed and grappled, he was introduced to Dave Camarillo. The Facebook CEO quickly fell in love with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, calling it the best sport he had ever done. In his own words, from the very first session that I did, like five minutes in, I was like, where has this been my whole life? The question on everyone's mind now is, what next for Mark Zuckerberg inside the circle? And that's an interesting question to say the least. In an interview with the Brazilian BJJ website Tatame, referee Lucas Costa had some surprising things to say. Having watched Zuckerberg closely on the mat, Costa felt there was a bright potential future for Zuckerberg if he keeps the same discipline he displayed in his first tournament. He's a natural, I think he will make it to black belt. He showed himself to be humble, firm, excited, and thirsty to win. Besides, he made the crowd go crazy when they noticed him. It was like the wave game you see at stadiums. One person would tell the next and soon enough a bunch of people were gathered to see him fight. Zuckerberg's coach Dave Camarillo was also over the moon when asked about his newest student. He's amazing, Camarillo said of Zuckerberg. He is an extremely hard worker as everybody knows. But a lot of people have a business and they're successful and they have that side of their life. And rarely do they dip into the physical side, especially with something like jujitsu and MMA and have the same amount of success or even go past day one or month one. He's not that kind of guy. I think he has a good balance between what he does with his business and what he does in the physical realm. And he excels. He's one of the best students I've ever had. Now we think we have all the confirmation that Mark Zuckerberg will in fact be returning to BJJ and we also now know that he has got that innate talent to be a success in the field. But just before you go ahead, Mark Zuckerberg isn't the only famous person to grace the BJJ circle. For the second half of this video, let's go over three more big names in the business and Hollywood industry who have made a name for themselves, winning competitions and awards, and proving that you don't have to practice BJJ from your childhood in order to be successful. But before we go ahead, we'd love to know whether you've enjoyed the video. If so, please subscribe to Valor Strategy Grappling and hit the bell icon to avoid missing out on the upcoming videos. The first one on this list is Peaky Blinders and the Dark Knight Trilogy's heartthrob actor Tom Hardy. The British actor developed an interest in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu while preparing for his MMA movie Warrior in 2011. During training, Hardy learned some martial arts techniques and trained under a grappler who introduced him to BJJ. 
He continued to practice BJJ after the movie and trained with the Royal Marines in 2011. Hardy then became a trustee and ambassador of Reorg Jiu-Jitsu, which is a charity organization established by the Royal Marines to help veterans learn BJJ for mental and physical healing. Hardy struggled with drug abuse himself and supported Reorg's cause to help others with addiction. He had this to say about addiction. Addiction is difficult and complex stuff to navigate, as is mental health, subjects which are both deeply personal for me and extremely close to my heart. After almost 10 years of grappling, Hardy was promoted to Blue Belt in December 2021. It was then that he decided to test himself in professional competitions, and that came in August 2022 in a G and No G Reorg Open Champions. Hardy competed against Danny Appleton, a military veteran and fellow Reorg program member, in the semifinals of the BJJG division. He won the fight by submitting Appleton via an armbar. Speaking to local reporters, Appleton acknowledged that he was stunned Hardy was such a proficient fighter. He's a really strong guy. You wouldn't think it with him being a celebrity. I do okay. I've done about six tournaments and I've been on the podium in every one. But he's probably the toughest competitor I've had. He certainly lived up to his Bane character, that's for sure. Mohamed Itoumane, who was the referee at Reorg Open Championship, was amazed when he saw a famous Hollywood actor competing in a BJJ tournament. He did not imagine Tom Hardy to be a great fighter, but when Itoumane watched Hardy compete, he became speechless. He is really legitimate. A lot of people think, oh, Tom Hardy, he's just a superstar. No, you get him on the mat and he'll smash you. And just recently, Hardy secretly competed in the Milton Keynes Brazilian Open Jiu-Jitsu Championship and won by submitting Andy Leatherland with a leg lock submission. Upon his loss, Leatherland was surprised by how professional Hardy was. He did not say a word, he did not say anything. I made a mistake and he capitalized on that. He absolutely nailed it and he subbed me, and it was over relatively quickly. Hardy summed this all up when he posted on Instagram about his BJJ adventures. Simple training for me has been fundamentally key to further develop a deeper sense of inner resilience, calm, and well-being. I can't stress the importance it has had and the impact on my life and my fellow teammates. Hardy also said, It is an honor to be able to represent nonprofit organization Reorg and the great work they do supporting the mental health and well-being of veterans of service, military, and first responders through the therapeutic benefits of jiu-jitsu and fitness training. Next up, we're going to discuss Hollywood's nicest guy, who also happens to be the most badass too. It's none other than Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves has appeared in many successful films, including the John Wick franchise, The Matrix, and Man of Tai Chi. In the John Wick movies especially, Reeves plays a retired hitman who gets in trouble with Russian gangsters and has to fight his way out of danger. We all know how demanding the series has been for Keanu, and an action-packed thriller like it needs intense preparation too. And for that, Reeves had to learn several martial arts including Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, Krav Maga, and Wushu. Reeves trains Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu under the Machado brothers and is currently a white belt in BJJ, which is the first colored belt in the discipline. He is also an honorary black belt in Judo. In the John Wick films, Reeves showcases his martial arts skills, using techniques from various systems such as Krav Maga, Japanese Jiu-Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and Standing Judo. Chapter 4 of the John Wick series has taken its action to the next level with a slew of assassins out to hunt Keanu Reeves' character. The stakes are high and so is the action. Therefore, in the latest installment, we saw Reeves using even more Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu techniques in combination with katanas and guns. However, his interest in martial arts is not limited to his acting career. He devotes much of his time to training and improving his skills. Just like Tom Hardy, Keanu Reeves likes to enjoy the physical and mental benefits of disciplines like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which includes self-defense and body transformation. And last but not least, let's take a look at the king of all podcasters. The voice behind JRE, Joe Rogan, who's an avid martial arts fan and practitioner too. Rogan is actually a black belt in BJJ under Jean-Jacques Machado and Eddie Bravo, and is an advocate for the art as a form of self-defense. But beyond the physical benefits of the sport, BJJ has had a transformative effect on Joe's life. BJJ is a complex art that requires strategy, technique, and patience. It has humbled Joe, keeping his ego in check, and helped him stay focused on the journey rather than the destination. Martial arts helped me with 
at, with that tremendously because it was the first thing that I ever did where I didn't feel like a loser. Mm. It's like the first thing that I ever did where people like respected me and they liked me for it. You know, I'm like, wow, this is like something. It was a feeling that I was completely unused to in the 14 previous years of my life. All of a sudden, there was this this feeling that I was unusual. I was unique. I was special. Wow. Joe's journey in BJJ started in 1996. And he's trained with some of the best BJJ practitioners in the world, including Rickson Gracie and Jean-Jacques Machado. Rogan began competing in Taekwondo tournaments at 15 and claimed his US Open title four years later. His instructor first had him fight in the black belt division when he was a blue belt, explaining to Rogan, the only way to make steel is to throw iron in the fire. So I was obsessed with it, so I was training every day, all day long. And then my instructor recognized it really early on, so, he uh, allowed me to train there for free and just I would teach classes and teaching classes helped me a lot as well because when you're teaching you're breaking down techniques and you're you know you when you're showing someone how to do it you're really cementing those pathways in your own mind. Joe's enthusiasm for BJJ has helped bring the sport into the mainstream. As a well-known comedian and host of the popular podcast The Joe Rogan Experience, he's introduced many people to the sport and helped increase its popularity. He was also a host of the popular reality show Fear Factor and Massachusetts Full Contact Taekwondo Champion for four consecutive years. Rogan has even trained other people in the art of Taekwondo. As for his podcast, he has used JRE to showcase some of the best BJJ practitioners in the world, including Eddie Bravo and Gordon Ryan. In conclusion, Joe Rogan's love for BJJ goes beyond just physical exercise or self-defense. BJJ has been an integral part of Joe's life for over two decades, transforming him in numerous positive ways. In conclusion, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a transformative experience not just for pro fighters, but also for everyday people as we've discussed here. And this is not just in terms of physical fitness, but also in terms of mental and emotional well-being. We've learned in this video how the sport teaches us valuable life lessons including humility, focus, and patience. And it's just not a way to protect ourselves from physical danger. And that concludes our video for today. We've got an interesting question before you leave. Which two fighters from this list would you pit against each other to get the dream celebrity matchup? Let us know in the comments below.